Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about my toddler must-haves for Disney. So these are just items that are going to be either essential or just very helpful and make your trip absolutely magical and perfect. So let's get started. So the first thing I have here is just a clear pouch. And these are a lightsaber because not only is it so easy to find your auto items, but you could just hook it on a mummy strap. You could put this in a backpack, you could throw it in your stroller. If you're going to be going on a ride, this is super easy just to bring with you a lot of the Disney rides. You're allowed to bring like a small like lounge ride bag, you just put it like in the front. So this fits in there beautifully. So I absolutely love this. And I like to fill this with essentials. So I got a little pouch in here with some medicine for my taller myself and my older kids, especially anti-nausea medication. Because sometimes you might think, oh yeah, my kid or taller does not get like sick at all. But you just never know. Sometimes at Disney, it just comes out. I know with my daughter, she typically did not get any car sickness or anything. But there was once at Disney that she absolutely did need it. So I was super glad I had that. I also keep napkins, reusable wipes. I also use disposable wipes. And I also have sticky pads because some toilets have sensors. And you can just put the sticky pad over it. That way it does not scare your little one. So absolutely love having that. I also keep hair ties anything like that just a little essential sunscreen it could really all fit in here i don't have everything i typically bring but i could definitely fit more and of course diapers because you never know if your toddler is going to need a new one especially if they are potty trained already sometimes accidents do happen so i highly recommend bringing one like i said i just love the clear pouch because it makes it so easy to find what you need i also recommend bringing extra clothes because sometimes messes or accidents happen and Disney does have some water rides so I recommend just like extra pair like t-shirt shorts you might even want to bring that for yourself as well if you're going on any water rides it's just super convenient and easy to pack something else I recommend is extra snacks why do you need extra snacks when Disney is full of snacks? Well, sometimes, especially with toddlers, they could be super picky, so it's good to have a go-to item you know that they're going to like. And also, I recommend getting snacks that don't melt because Florida can be very hot. So I definitely wouldn't recommend anything like chocolate covered. Just keep it really simple. Stuff that you would bring on a typical hot day where you live that will not melt. I highly recommend bringing that. Another thing I recommend is water shoes because Disney parks do have like little splash pads. The resorts have splash pads and it's just so easy to pack them. I just throw them in a plastic bag or a disposable, reusable bag and I just put it in the stroller or I just put it in my backpack and it's just absolute lightsaver. You don't have to worry about their nice sneakers getting wet. And I don't recommend water shoes all day because they typically don't offer that much support. Something else we love is just a thin blanket and this is great because you want something that is not too thick and you don't want something that is too thin because what you're going to do is the taller strollers typically do not go all the way over so usually the sun can still hit your kiddo so you just drape this over and this is going to keep the sun in their eyes it's going to be thin enough where it's still very breathable and then at night if it's cooler they can use it as a little blanket to keep it with them warm so absolutely must have in our stroller now if you have a taller you're probably also potty trained in them or they have been potty trained so i recommend a reusable bag with a little potty seat that you just put on the potty that way if they do have to do a number two you're not stuck down there holding them for god knows how long and smelling that so you could just kind of step back and let them do their thing they feel safe and comfortable and you could just have your reusable bag you can put it in i also always have pure wipes and that i just wipe the potty seat before and after and I feel very good about that and it's just super easy to use and I just once again use a mummy hook and put it on my stroller it's very lightweight so you don't have to worry about like tipping over the stroller or thing or you can also put it at the bottom of the stroller it's up to you my last recommendation is a toy now you might be thinking we're at the most fun place ever why do I need to bring a toy well toys are great for lineups if you have dining reservations if you're waiting for the fireworks or parade I personally like the bubble wands at Disney I got my son one we'll be changing the batteries and bring it again and it really does help keep them calm and relaxed especially when you're just trying to eat or chill they could be very antsy or get a little fussy and so bubble wands are just very entertaining and if they last basically all day it's just a little container of bubbles but it just keeps going and going and going it's great 
Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Or if you have any favorites you want to recommend, on, recommend leave them down below as well. Also, if you like my ears, I actually did make them myself and I might start selling them. So let me know if you would be interested. And I might also link an Instagram that I might have that would link to it, my Etsy account. I am thinking about all time to launch them of 2023. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out that. And I hope you all are doing great.